Hey there Mort fans and welcome to another live stream from Mort's Model Moments. Now today we are doing this one here. This is the Lego City 60118 garbage truck. Um, I've had this for quite a while. I bought this... I think I bought this the uh, first week of January. It's just been staying in my cupboard, ready for a live stream. But before we get into this, I've just got to uh, check that the sound is coming through. And, uh, yes, if the sound's I don't know that right now. Pause. Headphones. And forgot this button. There we go. Looks like the sounds pretty good. I can monitor that. Uh, okay. Right, well before we get into building this, just going to remind everybody, just gonna put this aside for one minute. Just gonna remind everybody. This is the prize box. If if we hit 100 subscribers today, or when we hit 100 subscribers, somebody will win something from in here. There's lots of different types of uh, models in here, but yes, once we get up to 100 subscribers, then one of those 100 will win something from here. Just as a quick reminder. Anywho, let's get back to today's model. As I say, it's the LEGO City 60118. Garbage truck. So, let's have a quick look here. As always, we have the two cameras set up. We've got the Logitech C920 up here on the top, which is just slightly to the left. Notice that? There we go. The Logitech C920 up there, and the trusty SJ4000 down here. Now, this one that I'm pointing to now in the bottom left corner of your screen uh, can freeze up every so often. We're hopefully going to minimize that today. But yes, let's have a look at this box. Got a nice garbage truck here. It looks like it's got a working part over here and picks up the bin, puts it into the back. We've got two minifigures and also the dumpster. Look at the back. This shows you all the functions. So it looks like, yes, uh, the, the truck will uh, tip everything out when it gets back to the depot. It can pick up the, the thing, as it says at the top. The dumpster comes up at the top, and very clever. Uh, let's have a one-to-one -one scale. This is the minifigure. It looks like we get two, one with orange trousers, one with blue trousers. Well, let's, uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's uh, just get into this. Everybody's seen the box now, and let's get into this. As always, I've got the trusty scissors and, well, the most moments official scissors and a trusty brick separator. We can't go anywhere without this. Get rid of the uh, rubbish. Okay, so it looks like we've got a couple of numbered bags here. See, nothing else in there. And as always, that will be in the corner, so you can view that the entire time and see what we're actually building. So, we've got three numbered bags here. We've got a very small bag number one. And you see, that will be the dumpster, and it looks like both minifigures. And then we've got bag number two. Again, quite, quite not, not many pieces in there, but enough to build and then uh, the bag number three this looks like it's got all the back compartments all this orange goes into the back of the, uh, the garbage truck so we'll put two and three aside for now don't need them till later and let's have a look what else we have here we've got a sticker sheet with uh, seven stickers on it no uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine stickers see there Put that up to the main camera as well. And the license plate number, yes, like uh, a lot of other things, it has got the uh, 60118 license number, which is the same as the box model. Put them there, and we have two instruction manuals. Book one and book two. So we'll put book two aside for now, and start with book one. So this will be, oh, got a nice little fish in there. This will be the dumpster and both minifigures. Mm -hmm. 
almost out. But I'll try to roll away there and make sure we've got everything out of this. Very small bag one. I hope we have people coming back from uh, some uh, previous streams from the week and I also hope we have some new people uh, watching as well. As always, if you want to do a comment, uh, leave a comment, then please do uh, put them. Uh, it'd be nice to answer and get some interactive uh, elements going uh, with uh, viewers. It's always, always fun. Just uh, checking everything here. Well, uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing with the uh, tablet anyway. It's it's just there. So, let's see what we got here. Quite a... Not, not many pieces. A couple of fish. A couple of bottles. Oh no, one, just one bottle, it looks like. So let's see what we get. Okay, right. So we've got two different uh, style of minifigure head here. So this guy goes with this torso. There we go. So pretty basic head uh, for this guy. Not much expression on there, just very basic. Eyebrows, two eyes and a mouth. So not, not much going on there. And this guy has the orange trousers because it matches the dungarees. And I do like this colour orange uh, when it's uh, like this. The, Leg the Lego orange is very nice. I do like this colour orange. It matches, matches the brick separator and everything else. And he gets a broom, oh, which I have just dropped. And also we put a cap on this guy. So that is one of the two minifigures built up. So this second guy, uh, this guy has got more going on for his face. Uh, both single printed heads. Uh, this guy has the grey trousers. So you can see this guy's got a bit, bit more of a... He's, he's got like a, a squinty eye going on with uh, his eyebrow raised. Uh, with a... Uh, ginger beard and tash and uh, just uh, it's not a full beard it's just got a couple of bits bits of gap underneath his mouth there but overall it's a, it's a ginger beard and eyebrows get his cap on and his shovel There we go. So that's the second minifigure built as well. So we're going to start off with the dumpster. This is not going to take long at all. Getting uh, messages through. So a very simple build. Looks to be anyway. Very, very basic building here. Uh, locking things in. We're going to start off with the stickers very soon. Looks like we're just uh, going to do two of these. So this is uh, both number one stickers being used uh, at the beginning. Just going to get this in the right spot. we go so just another one like that and uh, we're happy You do slightly get stickers wrong. Don't forget you can use your trusty brick separator just to uh, re-peel a sticker. Always worth trying again to get it looking as perfect as you can. No point in rushing your stickers because once they're stuck, that's it. They're, they're done. Never rush your stickers. Always, always make sure you get them in the right spot. So we put one of these front and back of this dumpster. 
There we go, nice recyclable dumpster. So uh, this is also an educational toy. <laughs> well, maybe not. It's just a recycled dumpster. I don't know how much of a recycled dumpster it is though, because there's rubbish going in there, there's fish, there's uh, glass bottles. So it's a very mixed recyclable dumpster. Science in. Hopefully we do have some uh, new uh, viewers today. People who haven't watched before but just uh, found us uh, through searching. Been doing a lot of live streams this week. And uh, I'm not sure, I'm not fully sure when the next live build would be. But I'm, I'm hoping for a couple of weeks. But uh, maybe, maybe three weeks. I'm not certain yet. So... It looks like that that build is done, and then the rest of this is all rubbish that just gets tipped in there. A cup with a with a bottle. It'd be nice to get a second bottle as well. A uh, couple of fish and a banana to finish it off. So there we go. They've done a good job. They've swept up all the rubbish and put it into the dustbin, which you should always do. No, no, no point in littering. Just put it into the into the dustbin. Right. So it looks like we're already on bag two, and this will be for the cab and the bottom section of the back. Bit of the rubbish. Oh, we've got an extra bag inside here as well. So, always nice to get a mini bag inside a bag. No spare pieces for the first section, which I'm not surprised. Actually, actually, I tell I tell a slight lie. Like, there was an extra fish and a couple of extra studs, but they've all just gone into the rubbish bin. Oh, nice. Uh, a different window style, a flat window. So, that's uh, that's something I haven't come across before. I do like it when I come across things I haven't before. So let's get all these uh, lovely little nice elements out. Bag two. And any more bags to open? No. Let's put the scissors away. So we'll probably get most of the stickers used on this in this section. And uh, well, let's start. Separate these elements a bit more. And it is a six wheel truck, so two axles going on the back. Uh, which, where's the second one? There we go. So this is the back section now with the uh, two axles on. Well, I say axles, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Four axles because it's, it's it's four separate pieces, uh, and then we need to put on this uh, slight, nice long black with a, that grey going across. And uh, what else? Let's move. So this is going to look really good in my uh, city that is just behind me. You just can't see it. it's off. It's off camera. Um, which uh, is, it's a little bit of a mess right now. I'm just uh, I'm just in the process of moving moving things around and uh, planning on uh, the the next edition, which will be in well maybe a couple of months. But who who knows? You know, I've got to uh, got to save up the pennies to uh, to get that, which is which is a shame. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, but never mind, never mind. But the city the city is looking good, and this is going to add. Uh, some life to it. I've already got a couple of dust carts that go around, but this is the the large garbage truck that I, I believe will add just the right amount of life. It's almost fairground season as well, so in a in a month or two, in maybe six weeks time, I'll be putting the. Uh, all the fairground stuff out that is uh, 
is all there in the goal. I'll get the power functions back into them instead of what they're in now. Uh, attach some lights and make a nice little fairground to go into the city. There's always a lot of things that that's fun to do uh, when you build when you do build a, a city that you can that you can keep up and uh, you know keep keep together and keep everything there. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, there we go. That's the piece. As always, if uh, if I do say I can't see a piece, then do point it out to me. It's uh, only worked once in all the time I've asked, but, you know, it worked. It worked once. I say I can't find it. Please point it out to me. And someone put a message through saying it's it's behind that brick. And I thought they was joking. Uh, and no, they, they, no, it was. It was behind that brick. Uh, <laughs> so, so, yes. But, uh, but... With how these uh, newer models are going, it seems to be they, they've... Um, I, I mentioned this the other day while I was building the Porsche garage uh, that came out for the Speed Champion set. The... Uh, yeah, the LEGO seem to have uh, started separating sets up into uh, more bags. Uh, and the first one I encountered with this was the... Um, the Ghostbusters Firehouse headquarters uh, on uh, New Year's Day was it? New no, it was Brickbank that I did New Year's Day. Um, but the first set I encountered that they'd split everything up into more bags was the uh, Ghostbusters Firehouse set, and it makes things easier because you have less. There's less pieces on the board. Uh, well, there's less. There's less pieces on the table to have to sift through. So. Um, Nope, oh, one sec. Uh, what, am I, what am I doing on here? There we go. Yeah, there's less pieces to sift through each for each part of the build. So um, I'm not I'm not here looking at 233 pieces all at once trying to try to find one piece. I, I'm looking at less than a third of the pieces right now. It does make things a lot easier. And uh, other things you can do is it does say in the book is to separate your pieces when you do. Uh, open a bag is to separate your pieces into into different colours. Uh, I only do that for the really big builds, like for the for the massive. Uh, it's going to take twelve hours to build, like you know, Brick Bank, Death Star, uh, Firehouse Headquarters. Basically, those those very large creator sets is is the time when I will separate bricks. And if I do have a helper with me uh, doing a build at the time, who will take over building? Uh, at some point, they're, then they're in the background separating bag two. I'll be working on bag one, they'll be separating bag two, and then once bag one's over, all the pieces are already separated, get on the table, and, uh, well, carry on as quick as possible. And it makes things a lot easier, it makes things go a lot smoother. But for something like this, this is very small. You don't need to go into all of that effort. For something that's going to take forty minutes, well, dependent on the uh, uh, build build skill and how how quick you want to make it. Now, uh, well, we've got a round tile. Go on here. Okay, so this goes then this way and. On a weird brick, so two angular brick with four studs in the center. Where the bounce is that? Go. Ah, that, that completes that contraption there. So this is the lift. That would tip out all of that rubbish when it's in the in the dust when it's in the dust cat. Just tip it all out and it'll come out. 
always fun to see stuff like that and they're nice i do as i say i do like this uh this color orange that comes that's What else have we got here? Let's just get some pieces in here, get them in the right spaces. Uh, another grill section, it seems. What else do we? Okay, a couple of little round orange lights. Now I do, I do like the little round tiles because you can. These are just a great size for power uh, for power function lights. You can slip the, uh, the lights in there and uh, get some nice filters going on. Um, I'll put another tile. So, haven't even started the cab yet, but this is already taking some nice shape. Looks like there's just only wheel arches for the front wheels, um, but none for the back. couple of threes to go in here I am wondering if this cab's going to be big enough for both minifigures now I'm not sure it is only four studs wide uh, I'm not sure it's going to be big enough to fit both minifigures in but I may be wrong I'm hoping I am I am because uh, it would be nice to fit them both in because they are both working for the city. Actually, am I getting, not getting a city sticker? But on that is strange. So, uh... I went into the Lego store. Wait a minute, what what day were we on today? We're on Sunday. Wow, God, all, the time off work that I've had, I'm just uh, all the days are melding into each other. I'm trying to get a lot of a uh, lot of stuff done uh, for for this uh, this channel. I'm, uh, you know, the the, the well, that's, the format isn't changing. Um, I'll still be doing the model moments, but. I I am filtering myself out of them. As you can see, I don't have a camera pointing at me anymore when doing builds. I might do in the future if I can afford a third camera, but that's going to be a long way off. Uh, I'm just looking for a tile. There we go. So we're going to put the uh, first license plate on. Uh, yeah, as I say, if, if I can afford another camera in the future, I'll get another one of these C920s because these are fantastic cameras. Uh, they do have microphones inbuilt, but I I use this because it's next to I use this microphone. It's next to my face, and if I need to cough or anything, like that, mute it. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, there is a a format change. I'm hoping to get new intros filmed. Yes, and that is plural intros. Ah. Uh, I've already got part of the intro built, uh, filmed, uh, but but I've just got to work on the rest of it. And I'm hoping in the near future to incorporate some uh, lovely green screen effects, but you know, that depends on on uh, camera capability and lighting capability. If I can't get the lighting right, I've already done a quick tester, and a couple of people have seen the quick tester. Um, and yes, it it looks okay-ish. You know, it's not brilliant at the moment, but because the lighting wasn't right, everything grained out, which was a shame. So we've got the front front built here. Quite a nice front. You know, very very basic, extremely basic, but it's got all of the the things that you need here, apart from indicators. Uh, which is a slight shame that there's no indicators, but uh, I don't think there's any more really in the box that I could use. Unless, uh, unless the indicator is this here on the bottom. I've 
probably that will be it. This this is meant to represent the indicator here. Okay, so what's next? A couple of these. And that just locks that just locks the uh the front arm, the bumper. So uh building a couple of contraptions now to go on the side. So I'm gonna build both of these at the same time. Because they're both exactly the same build. They're not easy, you just reverse them by putting one upside down. So here we go. Exactly the same build overall. And so has anybody in the UK uh, actually read about this uh, Toys R Us theft uh, that was uh, down south? Now it only springs to mind because it is actually a Toys R Us that I've visited before because it, it's uh, in Collier's Wood which is near where my my dad lives uh which is uh, down south in, in well collier's wood <laughs> it's the nearest tube station and uh yeah it, it was funny that it came up and uh yeah i've been in there a couple of times but i've read more into the story and apparently this guy stole overall stole 60 60 uh sets of lego and i'm wondering how how did he get away with this this was two trips he did 30 and 30 I wondered how did this guy get away with all of that Lego? They're big boxes. I mean, even because he he'd have had to take in a hell of a lot of the smaller boxes uh, for it not to be noticed. But I really, I really don't understand how how he got away or how how he even thought he would get away with stealing that much Lego. Cause, I've I've tried carrying like five or six boxes just up and down my stairs, and they they and you know I I, I struggle to get them up there. <laughs> it's just the they, they they rattle they they fall around all over the place and you just you just can't do it with uh, with any uh, much decorum. Although I do have a narrow staircase, so uh, but yeah, it's strange what people try and do. They try and get away with anything, but. Oh well, some some people just all all they know is uh, how to do the wrong thing. But you know we don't we don't want people like that. We don't want people stealing Lego. No. Okay, we're gonna be putting this. I figured we'd be putting a sticker on this. Oh, we are, we are, but not yet. Okay. Okay, well let's see which sticker it is. It is number three. So let's put this on first. Always. I would I would say always try to put your stickers on first before you do put it onto the model because that's that is easier. They do they do kind of tell you to put the the pieces on the model first, then put your sticker on, but it's not as easy. So we've just had a message through. Play. Oh, I can't I can't read that. Playmate, whoever it is, my stream. So thank you very much to Player Meet. I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm uh, saying that right. Uh, I'll spell it out. It, it's uh, P L A Y M E I T E. Uh, so thank you for favouriting my tweet. If you are in the uh, stream, let's get this uh, sticker on right. That needs to go a little bit more to the right and a little bit straighter. Just need to put this a little bit more to the left. That looks about as good as I'm going to get it. I don't like the circular stickers. <laughs> Too many ways to get them wrong. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we've got, got that pretty much right. So that goes on the top there. And is that on properly? So no opening doors on this, but nice big windows. But... No open doors, and uh, 
we do have, as usual, you take the lid off, or you take the, the, the roof off to get to the actual cab. So, let's get the lights on now. We need, uh, have, I've just seen it, there we go. Get this, and... This, and a couple of these are uh, orange lights, the trans-orange tiles. That goes on top, tells you when the... Uh, the cab is coming, the truck is coming, and uh, get your rubbish out, although your rubbish should already be out. Ready to be out to be picked up. Putting the wing mirrors on now, so... Uh, where does this go? This goes here. Is that right? No. That's very wrong. That's... Got this on the wrong way, haven't I? A minute. There we go. That's the way. So there we go. We've got the wing mode on in the end. So what I'll do this time is I'll put the hinge on first. This will make it a lot easier. You know, no, trying to figure out which way to put the, the element. So there we go. Two wing mirrors, nicely angled out. And again, a different way of doing the wing mirrors. See? Pretty cool. Nice. So what else have we got? Right, so now all of this. See, that is strange. We've done all of this. Put tiles there. And then is this, this the base of that? Yes, it does look like so, yes. This is the base of the big collector back. And now we're going to be doing the back bumper to go just here. And this one does have... Or extra hazard light. Hazard light here. There we go. And we get this grey tile for the second of uh, second of these license plates. And again, six zero one one eight. I still I haven't been able to check it out yet. I still don't know what the uh, letters are at the beginning. I'm not sure if it's the designer's initials or if it's just initials because MM is the same as one of the other sets I've done recently. But, but is it just a couple of random letters or who, who knows? Okay, so there we go, we've got the license number on. Just uh, try and straighten this up just a little bit. I mean, so, I'm not, not saying this sticker, but sometimes the sticker are slightly cut wrong. I had uh, some uh, checkered flags uh, cut a little bit wrong the other day. It had a, a big bottom and a short top. So, uh, so sometimes, yes, the, the stickers can be cut wrong, but you just try and do the best you can. Get them straight, get them nice and even. Got the back on now. And that looks like that is the end of uh, book one. And I'm slight, slightly concerned because I've got two brown sections here that I think I've missed where they go. Ah, yes, I have. Yes. So these go in the inside. Yes, I, I, I did miss that. Always check if you're not sure. Always check. Can't get in here. There we go. So we've got the two there. there there's the armrest. So there, that's that's that answered. We can't fit both minifigures in here because there's not enough studs to seat them both. I uh, just need to get the uh, steering wheel in. I'm uh, making a pig's ear off. So there we go. And then we'll put that on top. So we'll get a guy in here. Get the uh this guy looks more like the boss. So we'll we'll, we'll put him in. He, he's like, I'm driving this thing. I'm driving this and uh you know that that's that's all there is to it. Uh I'm not sure where this is supposed to go though. Do they clip onto the side? Or where where do you... it looks like they clip onto the back of the dust collector. So that is the end of book one. 
just get these uh, spare pieces away. And we'll be starting on book two very shortly. Book two, bag three. Gonna get all the spare pieces away, tidy up as you go along. Best way to go. So it's got a good shape as this. Just uh, for the for the rest of this now, we're gonna be putting the wheels on. Putting the mechanism on the front and the mechanism on the back. Got all these lovely orange pieces out now. This is this is this is quite good for me. I've 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 already said a few times I like this orange. This is all I'm building with pretty much. I'm building with the nice nice orange. So uh got just couple of well just one extra bag in here get rid of the rubbish so let's see spread these out just a little bit spread all these pieces out and the start of the bag oh i'm opening book one again I forgot to switch that for book two. There we go. I'm like, well, what the hell? What's going on here? What's going on here? So there we go. Book two. So need this. We start off by putting this on. Why will it go on? Get this on. There we go. That on. That's on very nicely. Okay, and then two more of them. Which sometimes I don't know why some of these things are separated to different instructions. It just seems like a waste of paper and ink when like, all of that could have been just one instruction. But never mind. That's quite that's quite weighty. Is it? Already we haven't even put the rest of it on. Our red section at the end. Oh, pretty cool. Like a, it's like a warning uh, section going around, red and white going around. Leave a gap, black gap up. And then that. fill up a bit more reds and whites. And uh, so we've got nice red and white stripes going around there. They're going to be underneath all the rest of it. So kind of like we haven't got any real fully warning stickers like we have for other things. We've had warning stickers, but this one it's just like the the entire side of it is the warning. Pieces on now, building a, a good wall. Everything's going on there. We go. So it's got the uh, it's got the smooth parts of this on the inside, uh, so no pieces. Well, no rubbish can get caught on the inside. It's all smooth. So nice design work there. And also, if if the uh, if the extra bits are on this side, you you got you got a bit a nicer grip to grip onto just to pull it all pull it all out. So nicely nicely designed overall there, because I could have done that with smooth bricks, but then you'd have no grip. Just put a another. So this is where the tools go. This is where the uh, the shovel and uh, the the sweeping brush go. Between uh, collections. Oops. 
just going to put that shovel on now so you can see that. There we go. Okay, so what are we building now? Show what this is to come. Get a couple. Is it the back door? Might be, the, might be something in the back door. I'm not. Red. Try to plate just there. Angled bricks. Nope. And a couple of lights on top. Okay, so that does go over the back here. It was to do with it's the hinge for the back door. Oh, silly me, put that on the wrong way. And nobody told me. And then we've got a couple of these on. So a very simple back door, it seems. Plate and a couple of clips. And, well, we put these stickers on here. I thought we were going to put them on the side. Very nice, and then we'll put the caution one on bottom. I'll put it as close as the top one as I can so I can try and line it up. That's the That's not straight. I was right. It's not straight. Gotta get it straight. That is terrible. That that is some terrible sticker work. I'm gonna try and get this rusty brick separator. <laughs> Sticker remover. Much better. Much better there, and then that just clips onto the back. What was that? Just uh very simple door mechanism. Fantastic. Uh, right, so now we are building the rest of the top, it seems. Ooh, right, okay, two of these, like so. And this. Couple of these extra lights on top with. Oh, I'm not seeing. There we go. 
Oops, all back. Boom. That goes on the front, just behind. Ah. So that is on the front, just behind. So massive gap here. Uh, the rubbish to get put in, and I'll put this here. Move. This and this, hold it then. Very lovely. To finish that off, and just to finish off the back section, we've got a couple more of these uh, recyclable. Cycled stickers. So I'm going to try and get this into this gap now. Go around the other side. Get this one in. Now the hardest part about this one, getting it the same place as the opposite side. Well, yeah. Don't want to uh, sit down yet. Get back up here. Got to just readjust that one just a little bit. A little bit straight. There we go. Yep. And done. That is all the stickers done for this set. So I can put the sticker sheet our way. And now we are building the mechanism that goes onto the front. And uh, that is what's coming next. All is on. And then another bar that goes on this. There we go. Yes, and we will do exactly the same thing, but just opposite. Only one Okay, so that goes quite going properly. Yeah, if ninety degrees. So I'm guessing that this is handle so you don't so you just use this bit to pull it up but it's not connected yet so we'll probably get that sorted next okay so this uh, oh. me Tube. Yep. 
Okay. Now we need color on. Is that right? Yeah. There we go. This little wheel. Any wheel going on? Other color. Another wheel with the little tiny hub. This. It's got a spare tire. No. Oh. Okay, I've just got a spare tire. That's that's strange to get a spare tire for that. A couple of things at the front, which uh, was pretty obvious. I think that was pretty obvious to to be doing that. And this just clips onto here. I'll just just show why the wheels are. But we've got the uh, the lever here to pull it over. Like this and that is how rubbish will get in to collector and then we've just got a couple more things to do which is put the tires on the hubs six tires and six hubs Done. Very small tyres, considering it's such a, a, a large vehicle. Oh. Yes, very small wheels for such a big vehicle. Oh, there we go. And I believe we are... Oh. Just got to get rid of these spare pieces here. Where's my little tiny bag? So let's have a look at this thing in action then. Let's have a quick overview of this. I think this is, it's been well worth for me looking forward to, to be honest. It is a pretty cool little model. Uh, it's taken, what, about 40 minutes to, to build. Uh, and that's 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 kind of with a distraction, but also, you know, kind of speed building it, talking through it. Got a very great model here. Got a nice function here with a big um, dump on it. Uh, opening back as well. Got the minifigure already in there, so we've just got to get the uh, rubbish bin just in front of it, so it'll drive in like this, and then so we've got the rubbish on the forks. Pick it up. Let's see if all of this rubbish will go into the collector. And oh, not all of it. I should have gone a bit quicker. A fish and a banana fell out. So that's what the guy with the boom booms for. He'll sweep it all up. I'll sweep it back into the collector and oh straight over I'm not I'm not very good at being a bin man here am I but we've got a lot of uh, rubbish in here then when we get to the dump just let it all drop out and then we drive away <laughs> so pretty nifty little model uh, maybe I put too much rubbish into here and a couple of these pieces are spare pieces I suppose but um, yeah I like I like this I think what you could do is just maybe not use the larger pieces, just use the, the studs. Let's see if we can get it all in this time. So, hey, come over here. Have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, and then. Oh, no. Everything but the banana that time. Put this down, and I just realised what the wheel on the on the front is. That's that's for the forks. That's to make sure the forks don't go down too low. That's what that wheel's for. Then just get them out of the way and drive drive away. So yeah, I think very very cool model.
I do like this. And these are pretty easy to build. You could build these out of pretty much any colour. Consider it. All you need, really, is a few bricks into the basic shape. And you could have a, a few all around. You don't even have to have them in green. You just, just get a few shapes, a, a few bricks, put them in the basic shape. Pretty easy to do. Very simple bricks to source. And then you could have a, have a collection route. You could have one over there, one over here somewhere, and another one over here. And um, you could have your own little uh, garbage disposal route. Now, the only thing that doesn't seem to work at the moment is the fact that there's no space for the second guy uh there's nowhere for this guy to go uh when when he's not doing uh the rubbish you can't you can't hold on to anywhere or, or step on anywhere so uh so that i believe that the only criticism with this model that is all i would say just uh the second guy has nowhere to go but apart from that this is a fantastic model great little secondary build as well just a very simple build um if you have a city and it's a if it's a working city and you want to put a bit extra life into it then yeah get this model there's no there isn't many reasons why you wouldn't get this model I, it looks great I, I like this orange i do like this orange and uh yeah not much more to say about that if there is any comments that want to come through uh, for the next minute or so, then uh, I will be happy to answer those. But other than that, we are done. It was a very short live stream. I, I do appreciate that. Uh, but they can't all be 3 and 4 hours or 12 and 15 hours as I've done before. Doesn't look like any comments are coming through so we thank you for watching if uh if people are watching there thank you for watching uh hopefully we'll see you for the next Mort's model moment uh which should be coming out in the next day or two uh i'll probably edit it tomorrow and get it out and that is number 99 which means after that we're on the big 100 um uh, looking forward to getting that video together i'm not really doing much many things special about it i might change the intro just slightly just to just to do a big 100 don't forget the box of uh poly bags there that are the well one of those is well the giveaway prize uh for when we hit 100 subscribers i will pick one of the subscribers at random and send them a poly bag from that box and we'll be doing that at 100 200 300, 400, 500, uh, and then it'll be 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, you know, plans for the future, and that, that is basically the prize box. Uh, maybe when I get to 1,000 subscribers, it'll be something slightly bigger than a poly bag. Who knows uh, until we get to that point. So, again, thanks a lot. Thank you very much uh, for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next Mortz Model Moment and also on the next live Mortz Model Moment, which I haven't fully planned yet. It may be in two weeks, but more likely three weeks' time. So that's three weeks today or two weeks today. I will have to check my schedule and plan accordingly. But all updates will be put on Twitter and Facebook. Don't forget, there are links underneath for everything. And thank you. See you next time.